Jesse V. And if you're wondering why my hair looks so weird, it's because I just washed it, so it's still a little wet. My hair takes like eight hours to dry for some reason. Love it. Anyways though, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite childhood toys and that is Bratz dolls. They were definitely all the rage in the early 2000s. I'm not too sure how popular they are now, but back in the day when I was a kid, everybody wanted Bratz dolls. I probably collected, and this is like no joke, I think I had over 50 Bratz dolls. I I literally had this bin in my basement just filled with them and once again when I got older I had a garage sale and sold my whole bin of like 50 Bratz dolls for like five dollars. So major regrets. Especially because I had some of the rare Bratz dolls that we're going to be talking about in this video so I really need to stop having garage sales. <laughs> I never knew later on in my life I would be making a nostalgic series on my channel because if I knew that I would have kept all of my stuff. Okay, so let's do a little history on Bratz dolls before we get started into the creepy, deep, nostalgic mess. Because believe it or not, there are some creepy facts, funny facts, weird facts, cool facts about Bratz dolls. They look pretty normal on the outside, but if you really dive deep into their secrets, they have um, a lot to hide. <laughs> So Bratz dolls came out in 2001 and immediately started competing with Barbie dolls because before 2001, Barbie dolls were like the gift to give a child. Every kid wanted one for their birthday, Christmas, really any time of the year. I mean, myself included, whenever I went to any toy store, the first aisle that I wanted to go down was the Barbie aisle. So in 2001, when Bratz dolls came out, people were really intrigued by them, especially because they had such a different look than Barbies did. Bratz dolls are 10 inches tall and have a slightly different look. For example, they have a very large head and large lips. They had different parts of their body that were really over exaggerated, like their feet as well. They just weren't proportionate and people were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool, a disproportionate toy, I want that. Honestly, they kind of look like aliens. The very first Bratz line ever came out with only four different dolls. There was Chloe, Sasha, Jade, and Yao. And as we all know, brats have that really weird feature where you can actually take their feet right off their body, like their shoes and their foot pop off. I always found that to be really strange because they just have these little nubs that you'd put their feet on. <laughs> Such a weird concept, but it is what made them so different. So if you go onto the official Bratz website, I used to go on that website like every single day after school when I was a kid, like they had a fortune teller, they had a mash game, they had a dress up your Bratz doll game. It was so much fun. But they also have a little bio section for each of the four dolls. So for Jade, it says she's the one who skateboards, but her only non-sport hobby, mix and match and outfits. So every single one of their bio is very materialistic sounding. And that's one of the things that got so much backlash. It's that these dolls bios are so dull and boring and they don't really give these girls any depth aside from beauty, fashion. Next is Yasmin, it says she's the boho hippie who does yoga and probably uses namaste as a verb, but she also loves making flower crowns. Then there's Chloe, she plays soccer, but also loves shopping. Also, her life motto is live, laugh, love. Do you like the voices I'm making for each doll? I just feel like that's what it would sound like if someone was like reading their bios. <laughs> and lastly, Sasha. Sasha's purpose in the Bratz world is to get rich and famous through acting or performance, but on the bright side, she does have her own makeup series on YouTube. And yes, the uh, new brats they came out with have social media, so. And then recently they came out with this new brat doll named Rhea, and it says she's a lovable goofball who wears hamburgers for shoes. Hamburgers for shoes. Honestly though, she seems like the most interesting one out of the uh, five of them <laughs> because it finally doesn't say anything about fashion or beauty. It just says like, yeah, she's a goofball and she has hamburgers for shoes. <laughs> Love that. Anyways though, now that you know all of the history and stuff, let's start to get into these really weird facts. So Bratz came out with a really controversial babies line. It says Bratz babies featured the original characters as babies and Bratz kids resized the dolls to six inches tall. 
all. So they had the baby baby versions of Bratz and they had the kids versions of Bratz. But the reason why they got so much backlash, especially from parents, is because of the outfits that they wear. They have babies and kids in like tiny little mini skirts and crop tops and they were almost overly sexualized and parents were like, yeah, that's sad and that's not okay. So I'm pretty sure once they got that backlash, they decided to totally remake the way that Bratz babies and Bratz kids look. So if you see them nowadays, I'm pretty sure they're dressed more like actual kids and actual babies and not like child divas because that's really weird. This next thing I'm going to show you, get ready. <laughs> it's really freaky. Have you ever seen a Bratz doll without the makeup on? Because I did recently and I'm just not going to come back from it. Like I'm not the same since seeing this picture. Basically what happened was there was a father who was trying to clean off his daughter's Bratz doll. I think she might have gotten food on it. She got it dirty somehow and he took this wipe. I forgot what the chemical was called on the wipe. So when he was washing off the doll, he actually took off all of the makeup on the Bratz and he posted a picture to Twitter. Are you ready to see what a Bratz doll looks like without makeup? Here you go. <gasps> Yeah. So those little eyes that you see on the brat's face is cutouts from a magazine, which makes it even creepier. Someone commented on the post and said, it looks like a real person is trapped inside, which is so true. I mean, without all that makeup, they actually look like aliens. <laughs> now this next fact is really cool. There is this mom in Australia named Sonia and she decided to take the makeup off all of her kids Bratz dolls and remake them. It says she wanted them to have more realistic makeup and she wanted them to look like a down-to-earth normal girl. So here are some pictures of what she created. It's absolutely amazing how different it looks. Like if you saw the after part of this you wouldn't even think it was a Bratz doll. Honestly I think her her version looks so much better than the original and it also gives her daughters a better message you know because little girls don't have to be wearing the amount of makeup that Bratz dolls are wearing. The next really weird and kind of creepy thing is that there are Bratz dolls knockoffs that just look <laughs> a little bit off. So there are these dolls called Chicks dolls and they were mostly sold at dollar stores like Dollar Tree so they were like a very cheap version of Bratz dolls because if you guys remember at least what it was like when I was a kid, Bratz dolls were like $30, $40 depending on if you got accessories with them or if you were buying like other stuff with them. They got really expensive. So these people came out with this cheap version called Chicks dolls. They were out in the early 2000s. They had the big head. They had the big lips. And as you can imagine, they got a lot of backlash for looking so similar to Bratz dolls. I mean, they even had the Z in Chicks just like Bratz does. The next fact is that they came out with so many Bratz movies whenever they came out with a new style of Bratz doll. The ones that I watched as a kid were Starin' and Stylin' in 2004, Bratz Rock Angels in 2005, Bratz Passion for Fashion in 2006, and I think those are the only three that I would like watch religiously with my sister. I was a bit of a Bratz fan, let me just say that. I just thought it was so cool to like have the doll and then also be able to watch it in a movie, you know what I mean? But look Looking back at the animation, because you can find scenes from these movies on YouTube, the animation's so bad and like it's almost creepy in a way. Because you're watching these girls with like massive heads walk around and talk to each other. It's it's really weird. Speaking of big heads, this next fact is so creepy and I'm so glad I was never given one of these as a kid. So they came out with big Bratz dolls. They are basically the 24 inch versions of the normal Bratz dolls. So they were like, hey, everyone loves these normal size ones. Let's just increase the size dramatically. So like in all of their promo pictures and commercials, it's these little girls with these giant like big headed dolls. <laughs> it's so bizarre. I really don't know why they thought they needed to increase the size of Bratz. And through my research, I found out they didn't really do too well in stores because people, it was just too inconvenient to carry around such a big Bratz doll. It's so much easier to just get a normal sized one. Did any of you have any of these big Bratz dolls? Cause it's, uh, it's weird. Okay, let's get into the rare Bratz dolls because as you guys know, whenever I talk about a really old 
toy, if you will. Usually as the years go by, there are rare ones that people still have and sell for a lot of money, just like Beanie Babies, just like Webkins. So if you have any of the following Bratz dolls still, you can sell them for quite a lot of money if you really want to. So there's the Bratz Twins first edition of Phoebe and Roxy, which I literally had and sold in that big bin of Bratz, so still regrets. Bratz Rock Angels Fan Club President Megan, Bratz Ice Hockey Chloe, Megan, and Yasmin, Bratz Girlfriends Night Out Chloe, Dana, Phoebe, Sasha, and Yasmin. Oh my goodness, this is like a tongue twister. There are so many different names of these Bratz. Springtime Yasmin and Chloe, and these two are apparently probably the most rare on the list because they were canceled in the States for some reason. I'm not too sure if there was like controversy behind them, but if you have these, they are like Wanted. Passion for Fashion, Sabrina Dresden. Forever Diamonds, Plain. So now we're getting into like transportation. The Movie Star Bus with Megan Doll. The Bratz Carnival Rides. Oh my goodness, I didn't know they had carnival rides for the Bratz. What the heck? And the Wicked Twins, Sierra and Deanna. And apparently these two are also really, really rare. If you guys don't know, I love the Wicked musical. Oh my goodness. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Anyway. Defying gravity. That's like the one song I'll sing in the shower like every single day. Just so you know. The next creepy fact is that they came out with Bratz popsicles, which really shocked people and confused people because why would you want to like suck on a Bratz head in popsicle form? Very strange because it's literally in the shape of a person. And the thing about popsicles is that they melt, they can start to look warped and creepy. And so there were ice cream trucks going all over the world selling these Bratz popsicles. And when kids got them and opened them up, they looked nothing nothing like Bratz dolls, they actually just looked really scary. And I feel like whenever a company makes popsicles out of characters, they never turn out right. Like, have you guys seen the SpongeBob popsicles? It just looks really, really scary. And the last fact we're gonna talk about is the controversial Bratz movie. Now, I stopped watching Bratz movies in 2006, and this movie came out in 2007, so I just missed it in my childhood. It was called The Bratz Kids Sleepover Adventure. So it was the younger versions of the Bratz dolls. This movie came out and immediately started scaring kids around the world. It was giving kids nightmares. This Bratz movie was the top one to be returned in stores. So many people were getting refunds for this movie because their kids were having nightmares. The premise of this movie is that Chloe, Sasha, Jade, Yasmin, and Megan are invited by the new kid in the neighborhood named Ginger to a sleepover and then each girl tells a spooky bedtime story. So basically the whole movie, and it's like decently long, I think it's the longest Bratz movie they've ever made, but it's each little kid telling a scary story in someone's bedroom for a sleepover, and their stories are surprisingly scary. Now I'm not gonna go into detail of each Bratz story because that would just take me forever, but let me just talk about the scariest ones they told. So in Sasha's story that she tells, it takes place at a circus. She basically walks into this room room full of mirrors. You guys have seen stuff like that in carnivals, right? It's like a mirror maze. So she's standing in this hall of mirrors and she's looking at her reflection and she starts making like funny faces and joking around. But suddenly she realizes that her reflection is not copying her exactly like reflection should. And her reflection starts taking on a life of its own, smiling creepily. It eventually jumps out of the mirror and now she has a doppelganger beside her. And the whole entire story, this doppelganger is chasing her around the carnival. She's freaking out, trying to get away, and at the very end, her doppelganger pushes her actual self into the mirror. So now Sasha's stuck in the mirror and her reflection gets to roam free through the world. But as you can imagine, if you're like a five or six year old watching this movie, that's gonna really scare you. And then once all the girls are done telling their stories at this sleepover, stuff actually starts happening in the house that they're in, like in real life. And the whole show, it's just, it's strange. If you wanna see it, I'm pretty sure the full movie is on YouTube, so you can check it out if you want to. But yeah, those are all of the weird, creepy, and funny facts that I was able to find about Bratz online. There wasn't as much as I thought there would be, but if I missed anything, definitely comment it down below. And let me know 
know if you're still enjoying this nostalgia series. Give this video a thumbs up if you are. Comment down below what toy or item or thing you want me to do next for this series. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!